हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर इन डेप्थ रिव्यू ऑफ नथिंग फोन वन रनिंग नथिंग ओ एस वन डॉट फाइव डॉट वन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन आई बीन यूजिंग माई नथिंग फोन वन सिंस द डे सेकंड एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन बीटा वॉज रिलीज सो देर आर सम फाइंडिंग्स विच विल टॉक अबाउट दम इन दिस वीडियो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर आई हैव माई नथिंग फोन वन लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ वी गो डू अबाउट सेक्शन हेयर यू कैन सी नथिंग ओ एस वर्जन इज वन डॉट फाइव डॉट वन Going to Android version, this beta 2 came out with 5th Jan 2023 security patch. And guys, many users have asked us about the installation process because after this beta 2, nothing released, nothing OS 1.1.8. So if you are on that version, you won't be able to install beta 2. But there's a good news for you guys. Some of our users have got the information about the stable release of nothing OS based on Android 13, and that will be happening next weekend. So even I'm hoping things goes as per the information being provided by nothing customer service. So stay. Stay tuned on our channel. If we get any information, we'll do a dedicated video on it. And now, before starting the video, if you guys find our content helpful, then make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. That will motivate us in making better content with quality. And at the end of video, we'll also answer few questions asked by you guys. Still, there are a lot of users who have been waiting for features like dual app and things like app lock. And I think should actually look into it because these are the features which a normal audience uses most of the time. We still don't have these features on beta. 13 and i'm not exactly sure whether nothing will add these features on stable build also because one thing which nothing has still not fixed and that's the hdr issues with the applications like netflix not every user is dependent on youtube for hdr videos they do like to watch hdr content on other platforms but here you can see hdr capabilities it says none and after this update i did notice bit of issues with the shutter speed in the camera application on previous build shutter speed was quite fast but here i did notice bit of slow shutter speed after this This latest update, and when we are talking about the camera, I did not see any kind of improvements in the camera quality compared to the first build of Android 13 Beta 1. Let's see if they improve the shutter speed on stable build of Android 13. And another thing which I have noticed on this build is, for example, if we are in the app drawer, you can see the white background. Soon I go inside the setting, I do have a grayish background, and I've tried changing all the colors and adjusting the color tones. but nothing worked out so here you can see on the main setting page the color is different i'm not sure whether you guys are able to see in the video or not but with naked eyes it's clearly visible but if you open any setting and go to the sub settings here we have the white background and this is quite disturbing while using the device so i hope this gets fixed in the stable build And on this build, I have noticed the issue with the Google Photos application. For example, if I have any screenshots, uh, so I'll do one thing: I'll delete a screenshot. Once I delete that, the second screenshot sometimes takes extra time to load. The photo remains blur. and it takes around 4 to 5 seconds to load so i'm not sure whether this issue is with the application i mean to say the google photos app or it's related to the os another bug which i encountered and that's related to the volume panel so sometimes it happens like if i press the volume button and tap on those three dots you can see the padding is completely messed up see more text move towards the right hand side and padding of the icon completely comes out of the background and this doesn't happen all the time it happened for me two three times and when it appeared i was able to take a screenshot and in If you guys have seen our first impression video of Nothing OS 1.5.1, then you guys must be aware that Nothing have introduced this pop-up view feature on this latest build. Though I kind of feel it's not that stable, it requires bit optimization. It's quite slow sometimes, and the animations are also choppy. And they should also add the ability to drag and resize the window. And lastly there was another issue which I have been continuously facing on this build of Android 13 and that's related to the back gesture not working in the app drawer. So this I have observed a lot during my usage. To fix that we have only one option. You just you need to use the swipe up gesture to go back home. Okay now talking about the battery backup. So battery backup I'm really impressed by nothing. I've been using this device as my primary phone and battery backup seems to be great on this device. And wherein most of the time I have used 5G. So this is the first SOT wherein I got 4 hours and 59 minutes of screen on time. Second SOT I got 5 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time and third SOT wherein I got 6 hours and 15 minutes of screen on time. Quite impressive battery backup as per my usage. And if you guys have seen my previous video of beta 1 that time my device used to take around 60 minutes not even completely 60 minutes to fully charge but here you can see the device is now taking around 67 minutes to fully charge but that's not a huge difference now moving on to the gaming so gaming i don't do much of gaming on my nothing phone 1 i sometimes play battlegrounds mobile india and that too just tdm in games like tdm i did not encounter any kind of issues the device can handle 60 frames per second with no doubt jaro i did not feel much 
much of difference because mostly I play on my OnePlus 10 and if I suddenly switch to nothing phone one, I did not see any noticeable change when it comes to gyro performance while gaming. Though after this update, I did notice bit of throttling issues wherein you can see maximum CPU throttled up to 72%. This wasn't the case on previous build. And now let's talk about some of the questions asked by you guys. And one of them is how is scrolling on YouTube and applications like Twitter. So I personally don't find any kind of issues here. Scrolling is pretty smooth on Twitter and even on YouTube. Initially when nothing released this device, there were a lot of users who were complaining about the scrolling issues on applications like Twitter. But now scrolling is way lot improved with continuous software updates on nothing phone one. After that people have asked us about the dark mode. So dark mode is not that pitch dark mode. It's still that grayish background which you get to see on Android 12. And also users have asked us about this Nothing X application. So this application can't be uninstalled guys. I think Nothing should have given an option to uninstall the application for people who don't want to use it. Though there is an option to disable it, but Nothing should have given the option to uninstall it. And 5G services works perfectly fine. I have tested with Atel SIM card. There were no issues with the 5G services, though Geo 5G services are not present in my area yet. And slight heating issues are to be seen while charging the device. So guys, this was the in-depth review of Nothing OS 1.5.1 which is based on Android 13 Beta 2 and as I told you, let's wait for the stable build which mostly will be coming by next weekend. As of now only this much in this video, I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.